Hello everybody, I am El Bristo, this is Elotopia Gaming, welcome back to KSP Live and we have a slightly special uh, edition of KSP Live today because we have a, a prize draw, a giveaway planned for this uh, this live stream. Uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks I have had a, a prize draw running via the Elotopia.com website. Uh, you only need to be subscribed on YouTube to uh, to, to enter, although there are some, some bonus entries in there. We have had quite a lot of entries. Uh, it's looking like, let's see, about 150 odd entries in the uh, in the prize draw. And the prize is uh, an early access key for Track Day Manager, which I've been covering on my YouTube channel. The guys over at Arctic Hazard were generous enough to give me uh, an early access key for me to give away to my viewers both on YouTube and here on Twitch so that is what we're going to be doing tonight uh, at this point there are 12 minutes left in that prize draw uh, although if you're watching this on YouTube that will probably come quicker than 12 minutes away um, however yes we will be doing that prize draw once that uh, closes uh, if you're not in the prize draw make sure you get in there quickly if you're watching this on YouTube sorry you're too late you missed it um, so, uh, where are we with KSP Live? Sorry, I'm just checking the, uh, my screens here. Uh, the last two weeks, uh, we have, oops, sat on my headphones. Uh, the last two weeks, we have not been running live streams as such because, uh, I've been doing pure YouTube videos. It's been going straight to YouTube because I've been doing a fair bit of grinding, uh, getting science and things and doing some testing with, uh, with planes uh, and things like that. If you haven't seen those, then head over to the YouTube channel uh, and check out series four, episode three and four. No, episodes four and five. Uh, this will be episode six. So yeah, that works. Okay. Um, so check those out and you can catch up on uh, on what you've missed. We're going to be uh, hopefully not doing so much grinding uh, this week. We're going to be looking more at actually getting some stuff done. Um, here is where our tech tree stands at the moment. We unlocked some of the aviation stuff so that we could use those planes to gather science from Kerbin. Uh, we've also unlocked batteries. We've unlocked uh, the Stay Putnik. Uh, we haven't... Um, unless I'm very much mistaken. No, we haven't unlocked any solar panels. So we need 90 science to unlock some solar panels so that we can start putting up some satellites for some unmanned craft. Uh, but until that time, we are going to have to uh, stick to Mancraft, obviously. Oh, Let's have a look at Mission Control, see what's going on. We have no active contracts, so we are looking for some completely new contracts. Escape the influence mm -hmm. of Kerbin. Now that sounds like a mission that we could do. Fly a vessel out of the gravitational influence of Kerbin to achieve this goal. Uh, and that will pay us 9,000 up front, 26,000 after, 9 science and 20 reputation. I am going to accept that contract. Um, what else can we do? Oh, there's some stuff to do on the launch site. Test the Cyclone VTOL lifter section at the launch site. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I'm going to have to take that because I want to find out what that's all about. Um... Let's do a quick quick test, quick test craft. Okay, so here we are on the launch pad with the X3 and Valentina Kerman. This is the VTOL lifter section, apparently, and we can, hold on, let's move it out of the way. We can run the test on that. Whoa, okay. Which opens it up. Um, it's a very nice engine. Obviously, it's not doing anything because we haven't got any fuel. Can we close it? Oh yeah, close intake. There we go. No. Oh. How do we... Oh, we have to actually shut it down. Right, I see. Activate and shut down. <laughs> Interesting. Right, well that's, I mean, that's that contract complete anyway. So that wasn't just an easy contract for some extra... Oh look, we can discard it in midair. You see that? <laughs> um... 8,000 funds, one science, one reputation. Nice, nice. Uh, let's recover that. Four minutes left for our prize draw. So we will draw that very soon. 
Um, so, that was that contract complete. There was another one. Oh, look, science data from space around Kirby. Nice. Let's take that. So, we've got from space around and escape the influence. So, to do that, we are going to need a nice little craft. Not that one. Uh, now, what have we been using? Contains uh, locked or invalid parts. Right, okay, so I think we're going to have to come up with something brand new. Let's go for a new craft with a pod and a parachute. Uh, brain's gone blank. No, why can't I brain where is brain what do why can't I see any parachutes there's one there we go <laughs> goodness me talk about a brain fart eh um, now we want to keep this relatively light but we also want to take sciencey stuff and things with us so Let's take a service bay, and we'll take some stuff in the science bay. I love how they added that you can see the craft in the load. In, oh yeah, in the load save craft menu. Yeah, it's nice. The little thumbnail things. Um, I like that too. It's um, it is pretty cool. Uh, mystery goo. Let's have a mystery goo, and we'll have some snapping, and we'll spin it. No, that way. Mystery goo in the middle. We're also going to need batteries. Batteries, uh, which are in here, I believe. Yep. Um, like that. Two or three. Three is probably safest. Um, I don't think that that's enough delta V. That's Kevin. Um. What can we do about this? We can. Oh, I know what we can do. We can take the spare parts out. We can take the monoprop out, and like some of the food, water, and oxygen. That'll give us a small, slight increase. We could. No, we still need all the batteries, don't we? We could remove the mystery goo. That'll give us a small bit of extra. Not a lot though. 4303, 4269, it's only 40 meters a second, which is not a lot. Um, it might be enough, it might be enough. I guess there is only one way to find out, isn't there? So, uh, we need a name for this, don't we? What's, uh, where are we up to? Uh, D we got up to, so we need an E, we need a, a craft name beginning with E. I spy with my little eye a rocket beginning with E. Uh, feel free to make suggestions, people in the Twitch chat. Uh, have we got one part left? No, we have nothing left. I want one part so that I can put a reaction wheel on this. But I don't have one part, so I can't. So we're ready to simulate this thing to see if this can actually do what we need it to do. We're, we're aiming for A, getting into orbit, and B, leaving the influence of Kerbin. And I don't believe we have enough electric charge for that. We shall have to see. Um, Hopefully the the alternator on the engine might be able to give us you know puffs of energy so that we can we can actually do that. We, we'll have to see how things go. Before we do that, we're going to put we're going to uh, declare the winner of our prize draw. As I say, we've had oh we've had 155 entries. Only 153 of them have been deemed valid. Uh, I'm not sure why anything would have been deemed invalid. Uh, possibly a duplicate entry from someone with the same Twitch, uh, same Twitter account or something like that. Um, but there we go. So two entries out of the 155 have been deemed invalid. Um, oh, they were daily bonus ones. 
I don't know why that is then. Maybe, oh, maybe they tried to enter more than once for, for the daily bonus. Um, however, the we are going to draw the winner who gets uh, a, a Steam early access key for Track Day Manager, uh, courtesy of Arctic Hazard Gaming Studios, the, the developers of Track Day Manager. And out of the 153 valid entries, the winner is... Where is it? I can't see it. There it is. Perry Grant from Gosport in the United Kingdom. Congratulations, Perry. You uh, will be getting an email from me to uh, to let you know that you have won so that you can contact me so that I can send you your Steam key. Uh, if you happen to be watching this, either via Steam, uh, via Twitch, or via uh, YouTube, or if you, uh, you know you haven't received the email yet, whatever, uh, then be sure to add me on Steam. Uh, my Steam name is El Bristo, um, so so feel free to add me there. Uh, congratulations, and uh, I will uh, arrange sending you over your your Steam key for Track Day Manager uh, after this uh, stream has finished. Uh, thank you for everyone who entered. Sorry, you know, if you entered and you didn't win, which obviously there's going to be quite a few people that, that did. Uh, there can only be one winner, uh, and that is uh, Perry Grant. I think I just heard thunder. Excuse me one moment while I check my, out my window. Okay, this live stream could get noisy. Um, hopefully it will get noisy with rockets and not with rain and thunder and lightning, but uh, both are possible. Um, so here we are on the launch pad with the e Ike, the e -I -E -Ike. Uh, the e Ike. okay. Um, and th we're hoping to get this thing to leave the influence of Kirby. I, I don't hold out a lot of hope, but we will see. We're going to put our, we have Bill Kerman. Why do we have Bill Kerman? Oh, because it's a simulation. Okay, uh, let's, <laughs> uh, let's revert to the editor. Oh, that's a new follower. That's uh, Calhorda T. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Cal Calhorda, Calhorda T, Calhorda, Calhorda or Calhorda, something like that. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but thank you for the follow. Um, so we are putting the SAS on. We are going to put the throttle to 100%. Valentina Kerman is coming with us in the e Ike, and we are going to simulate to see how far this thing goes. Ready? Here we go. We are off the ground, we are going up, which is a good start. Let's try and remain vertical, well no, actually not vertical, let's try and start a, a very basic gravity turn. Wow, this thing is not very stable. We might have some issues with this. Yeah, we're not in orbit yet. Whoa, that's way up high. 58, 59, 60, okay. So let's be as efficient as we can with this fuel. We haven't got, we haven't unlocked the prograde tracking yet because Valentina's not a one-star pilot yet. That's at 70. And we'll go for about 80-ish. 85, 85, 919, that'll do. Um, now let's speed up time. Let's get to the Apo. Get to the Apo. Um, come on. Out the atmosphere. Are we not out the atmosphere yet? Well, where are we? 67, okay. Now we're out of the atmosphere. Speed things up. Not too much. Let's get to here. Who won Track Day Manager? That would have been, what was his name? Perry Grant. Perry Grant won Track Day Manager. Um, I'm not sure what his username might be or whatever, but uh, congratulations to him. Wow, that's too powerful. Hold on. Let's do that gentler because we are not quite at our apoapsis yet. This, yeah, this this is not going to. 
This is not going to leave the influence of Kerbin, is it? It's just not going to happen. There is not enough fuel in this thing. Right, well, we're in orbit. So that's a good start. What fuel have we got left? Yeah, nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough. Um, and I've just realised... I didn't put a heat shield on this. Which is not good. We're going to have to keep the engines attached to this. We're going to burn back. We're just going to go back home because this thing is not going to leave the influence of Kerbin. That'll do. Let's speed things up and we'll head back home. So more fuel is the... Uh, is the answer, but we can't fit more fuel in this thing um, because we haven't got the part count and we can't upgrade the uh, we can't upgrade the vehicle assembly building because uh, we don't have the funds so we've got ourselves into a bit of a vicious circle and I've just accepted those two contracts which is not great um, so, let's let's do a bit of science gathering, because we need to. Uh, Sonna, not Mun, Kerbin, there we go. Why does it show Mun as having lakes and rivers and things? That looks very much like Kerbin, doesn't it? Oh well. Um, okay, so, within the KSC, where are we? Uh, 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 uh. Water grasslands, highland shores, deserts, launch pad, runway. So we've only got very, very few sciencey things from within KSC. So let's do a, a little bit of a science grind. Not too much of a science grind. Um, and we will do it in the twin jet one, which I used in the uh, in episode five. So we're going to have a look at using that again. Let's check what we've got in here. We have Mystery Goo. We have uh, a Magnometer. And we have a Science Junior. I don't think there's any other science -y stuff. Oh, we've got a thermometer on there too. Let's move that up a bit. Let's put that there. Um, yeah, there's nothing else that we can put in there. So that's fine. We're going to save that. Uh, this will be Twinjet 2, and we will build it. While that's building, we need to employ a new scientist, which, again, I mentioned in Episode 5, because during Episode 5, unfortunately, we lost Bob Kerman. He is there uh, in uh, in our, our Kerbal graveyard, which isn't really a graveyard because we can't plant flags yet, but never mind, there's some pods there that represent those uh, Kerbals. So we need to go to the astronaut complex and we need to hire a new scientist. Uh, and we are going to rename that scientist after one of our viewers. Uh, now, uh, the first scientist that we hire uh, is going to go to a, uh, a donator because we have had some people donate via over. Via over. Uh, via streamtip.com streamtip.com forward slash elitopia uh, so we are going to name it after that donator which was T Harvey who happens to be watching today um, so uh, Harvey if, if you happen to be listening if you happen to be uh, watching this we have you have the choice of Genedith a female Kerbin or Dudbert a male Kerbin, Kerbal Kerbin? Kerbal yes a female or a male Kerbal, Genedith or Dudbert, uh, you can pick which one you would like to be, and I will rename that Kerbal to be uh, Harvey. Yay, there we go, we've got a Harvey Kerman. He's a pilot, why is he a pilot? He was a scientist just now. Something's gone wrong. Something's gone wrong. So, here we are on the runway with what should have been the Twin Jet 2, but for some reason it got named the Twin Jet 1 as a result of a bug. Um, 
and we have Valentina Kerman as our pilot and we have Moobot Kerman who was supposed to be Harvey Kerman uh, we have Moobot Kerman who was drawn from our viewer poll viewer pool uh, on Twitch uh, as our, our resident scientist who can reset our science experiments now um, let's activate the engines take the brakes off put the throttle down and we'll come off the runway a bit doing 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 there we go now let's why are you going off to one side don't do that what why are you going off to one side having to use trim to stop it from going off to one side Right, well... Let's use the brakes, which are not particularly good. And let's see what science we can get from right here. Materials Bay, 8.8, .8, good. Temperature, 2.8, good. Open that. Materials go. Materials go. Mystery go. 3.5. Magnetometer. Log that data. Keep the data. Toggle it back in. Now, where is Moobot? You can come out on EVA. Jump on here. You might as well take an EVA report while you're here from the KSC. Nice. You can. Come on. Jump over there. Click that data, take that data, click that data, take that data, restore the materials bay, restore the mystery goo, close that door, jump back over, and grab, can you take a crew report while you're outside? No. <laughs> Board. Let's take a crew report from there. Keep that data. Lovely. Okay, so that's that done. Brakes off. Engines on. Engines off. Brakes on. This is the science building. And we can now go observe the materials bay. 8.8. .8. Log the temperature from R&D. Open. Mystery Goo. Keep. Toggle magnetometer. There we go. We'll do it from here. And that will be... Admin building. Mystery Goo. Magnetometer, let's get the temperature, door, take the data, close, go, whoa, 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 whoa. oh dear, <laughs> um, okay, not, not quite what I had in mind, we're going to have to recover him now because I haven't put a ladder on this thing, so let's recover Moobot. Okay, let's see if we can get the other side of the astronaut complex and see if we can catch that data there because it's very tricky from this side. You have to stand right in the door. And I don't think our aeroplane's small enough to do that. Brakes. Don't take the wing off. Stop. What do we got here if we do a crew report? Just this KSC. Hmm. Although, have we had one from just KSC? Let's take it, shall we? There we go, log that, keep that, toggle that back in, and then we'll recover this vessel, recover this plane. 
and find out how much total science we've got. Hopefully we've got 90 so that we can add solar panels. 96! Nice! So that would unlock the solar panels here. Although that doesn't unlock the engine that we need, does it? Which will be up here. Is the engine more important or are the solar panels more important? Depends what we want to do really, doesn't it? Um, I'm prepared to open this up to the Twitch viewers. Which do we think is actually more worthwhile? This engine so that we can do that mission and, and have more economical use of fuel. Or the solar panels. Um, hmm. it doesn't unlock any... No, it doesn't unlock any science things. Um... It would be nice to have some way of earning some science, but um, don't appear to have that. So, hmm. so let's say you don't mu don't die. Yeah. Problem being is that we don't have enough fuel to actually complete the mission. Um, I think the solar panels are probably the the sensible option. So we're going to go with the solar panels. Uh, that'll take 45 days to unlock. So let's just walk to that. Um, now with the solar panels, that means that we can start having a look at unmanned flights. Um, because... The drones will have enough power. We can start having a look at satellites and things like that. The um, the mission we've accepted is to leave the atmosphere. Actually, if we do that, yeah, if we do it unmanned, then we haven't got a risk of Kerbal. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? Let's load the not the memoriam, the Eike that we used before, which we didn't actually launch because it was just a simulation and we will open this remove a whole load of batteries because we just unlocked this one um, however we don't need let's reroute, hold on Let's route to here. Take that off and put a probe on there. In fact, no, before we do that, let's put the battery on there. Not, I mean, not particularly aerodynamic, okay, but, but it gets the job done. Aerodynamics on this is probably going to be horrible, isn't it? But uh, we'll find out. This is going to be the EIX sat. We're going to save this. It only costs us 18,000, so if it goes horribly wrong, it's it's not the end of the world. Um, thrust, thrust to weight, thrust limiter and everything that can tweak slightly. 5,091 metres a second now. So this should be, this should be good enough for what we want to do. Let's get this thing built. Here we are. This is the EIX sat uh, under Sona. Uh, the EIX sat in on the launch pad. Um, we have communication with KSP via this for the moment. We have to switch over when we get into orbit. I will probably forget that and we'll lose communication with this uh, satellite. But there we go. We can't use SAS because the pod doesn't support it. So let's just launch this thing and see if we can hopefully control it. Here we go. We're away. Control is rocky. We do have control, but it's very twitchy, appropriately for their live stream on Twitch. It's now spinning a bit, but we can control that a little bit. SAS would have been nice. 
any kind of stability control really would have been nice. Not a particularly efficient launch, but we're getting there. We're almost we're almost getting our apo. Oh, run out of fuel. Come out the map. There we go. Whoa, no 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 no. Come back please. There we go. Seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-five. That'll do. Let this thing spin for a little while. And now that we are heading out of the atmosphere, we need to somehow let's stop it from moving a second if we can. There we go. Activate the communitron. Deactivate that. That's red. Does that mean that's been overheating a bit? Probably. Okay, so we should now have long range communication with KSC. Although, we're going to lose that communication before we reach our apoapsis, aren't we? That's a point. So, oh no, we might still have communication at the apoapsis, but I'm not going to risk it. I am going to start us burning straight away. The idea being, we're just going to keep burning. This thing really wants to go all over the place. You can probably hear all my clicks. There we go, right. Okay, whoops, pulled my headphones out with my foot. There we go, we're in orbit, we got it into orbit. Um, yeah, flying old school for sure. Sorry, I couldn't read the uh, read the chat while we were doing that. Uh, could have launched it straight up, sent the science. Oh well, yeah, possibly. Um, I'm pretty sure that if I use the temperature thingy here... Ah, we did get temperature science. Okay, well let's transmit that for 50% so that we complete that mission. Because I'm not expecting this thing to actually come back. So that completes that. Can we toggle the shutter on the... Oh, I've clicked one of those now, haven't I? There we go. On the, on the satellite. Let's log the visual observations of the satellite. Closer look at Kerbin's water confirms that it is indeed blue. Uh, so we can transmit that for 100%. Oh, I didn't realise that. Let's transmit that. And then let's let our solar panels recharge us a bit. I don't seem to have any control, so we must have lost communication. Yeah, we have. Okay. So let's let this thing go for an orbit. Um, I'm thinking we want to carry on burning as soon as we get communication again. Because our actual mission is to get this thing out of the influence of Kerbin. Come on, there we go, there's communications. Um, nothing else we can do at this stage. So let's get ourselves pointing pro grade. Oh, let's go every which way but the way we want to go. Okay. Very 
Pressing the wrong key doesn't help. Can we leave the influence of whoa? Can we leave the influence of Kirby? In? Have we got enough fuel to do it? The answer is we don't know because I'm pretty sure that will be out of the influence of Kirby. In. Because that looks like it's out of the influence of Sona. So we're about to find out what that does for us. We might be about to send a satellite to the middle of nowhere. Um, but that's not a problem. That's fine. Log that temperature just in case we ever do actually recover this thing. Log visual observations. We can transmit that again from above Kirby's grasslands. Great. Transmit. And then let's speed up time and find out when we actually leave the influence of Kerbin. Is that little kind of rock going past? There we go. We have left left the influence of Kerbin. Uh, because we haven't unlocked the patched conics yet, um, it wasn't showing us the actual correct trajectory but there we go we have left the influence of Kerbin we've also lost, left communication range with Kerbin because we're at 50 million meters um, but maybe maybe one day I mean we do cross the path of, Ker of Kerbin every so often so maybe one day this thing will return home who knows we'll find out um but there we go, that's that mission completed. We have sent something out of the influence of Kerbin, even though we can't actually communicate with it. 26,000 funds, 9 science, 20 reputation. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, we have 27.2 science. Uh, not enough to unlock anything. I wonder if this will like intersect with any of the other bodies at any point. We'll have to kind of keep an eye on it and see where it ends up. One day go with Cass and bring back the relic. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? We can go and grab it one day. So here we go. This is this is our first official satellite in orbit around Kerbin. It, in, or, in orbit around Sona, actually. That's Aptur, I believe, the little rock thing. This is Kerbin. That's Sona. There's, there's the other planet in this little system. I can't remember what that one's called. Let's have a look. That's Aptur, Kerbin... Oh, that is Mun that we can see, and Seran is just over... Oh yeah, there it is, you can just see it there. There's Seran, there's Mun, there's Kerbin, and there's Aptur. So there you go, first first good look um, at the, the other planets in this modified system uh, from, from the actual bounds of space. Um... So we say goodbye to the uh, EIX sat and uh, we bid it farewell and safe journey and we head back to the space center. We've got a contract for position satellite in polar orbit of Kerbin, which is good for scanning. Um, it's good for the, uh, the telescope and for EVAs. Um, I'm not sure that I want to do an EVA um, I'm going to accept that contract though. Um, so I think we're going to do it with an unmanned probe again. Because otherwise we've got to worry about parachutes and recovering it. And we've still only got 30 part limit. Um, we'll do it with EIX sat. And this time we won't take the thermometer because we don't need to. Um, we've got battery. We've got... Uh, solar panels 
would would be nice to have I'll tell you what can we put that on the top we can so can we hang on let's get it there we go <laughs> so here we are on the launch pad with the e Ike Sat 2 which we are sending into polar orbit, hopefully. Let's see what we get. We are away. And this thing is very tricky to control. We're gonna go north. We are going north. Let's go proper north, not kind of western, westerly north. Woo! Hopefully, if, thankfully, those R8 winglet fin things on the back should help us to stay a little bit more stable. PJ Grant. Hey there, Perry. Uh, Perry, you missed our prize draw. Um, and you'll be pleased to know that you were, you were the winner. Uh, you may not have received your, uh, your email yet regarding that, but you were our prize draw winner. So you are due, uh, a steam key, an early access key for track day manager. So, um... I will be sending you an email after the stream. Oh. Whoa, okay. You're going to do that then, are you? 77. Okay, well... Yeah, stop spinning, please. We can do a little bit better than 77. Let's go to about 100 this time, because we're going to go higher in general. There we go. Um, yes, I'll be emailing you a little bit later after this stream's finished um, with your uh, with your Steam key. Um, congratulations, and, and obviously thanks for subscribing, thanks for being a part, thanks for joining the prize draw, and uh, thank you, I, I believe you're one of the, uh, the people that that joined me through my Track Day Manager videos on YouTube, so uh, thank you for watching those as well. Let's, oh, hang on, let's get this antenna out. Coming out, activate. Whew. Almost forgot that then. Would have been sooner, but was cooking barbecue. Hey, I can't, can't criticize you for that. Barbecues are important stuff. There we go. We're now technically in a stable orbit. It will be it just about. And there we go. Our apoapsis is now somewhere close to the height it needs to be. And now, it's, it's going to be tricky for us to actually do this because we're going to lose communication throughout most of this flight. So we're just going to have to spin round and round until we get communication at the right time. <sighs> Narrowly missed it on that turn. Right, so one more time. And this will be the one. At the app, we should now get communication and have power. There we go. Coming up to the app, we can move and we can point ourselves prograde and we can burn to bring our periapsis up. Perry needs to be at 516 or thereabouts.
<laughs> There's the periapsis at 516. Apo at 526. That's at 579. So uh, we now need to do somewhere a maneuver to correct this. Ideally, we want to do that maneuver here at the ascending node, but we can't plan maneuvers because we haven't actually unlocked that yet. <laughs> so let's take ourselves to the ascending node and see if we can just kind of guesstimate it. Let's see if we've still got communication at this point, by the way. We do still have communication, so we want to burn to correct our inclination, preferably no, we've just lost communication. Okay. Let's see where we whoops. Let's see where we next get communication. We've lost. Yeah, we've lost line of sight with the sun again. So let's speed things up until we get line of sight with the sun again. Are we going to get line of sight with the sun again? We've kind of ended in a bit of a weird... Yeah, I don't think we're going to, are we? Hmm, there's a problem. This this thing is, is doomed not to work, isn't it? It says status direct sunlight, but it's just it's just not. It's not direct sunlight. Um, 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 um. We were so close. Having said that, this thing technically is now a satellite. It has an omnidirectional thingy on it. It just doesn't have any power. I wonder if we can somehow nudge it into place. I don't know. Probably not. Um, but yes, we're going to need to throw up some, some communication satellites at some point. Uh, so that these missions go a little bit smoother than this one has. Um, we're also probably going to need to recover this at some point because it's just going to be debris. Um, out of interest, where's our other satellite gone? There it is. Here's the e the original EIC sat. If I speed up time, where does that... Does that come anywhere near us? Or anywhere near... Look at that, it's going right near... Seren. Shame it doesn't have communication with us. Um, okay, well I've just wasted loads and loads of time, so let's um, let's go back to the space centre because that flight is not going to work. Um, we still have 29.5 science. We have 139,000 funds. We did not complete that mission. Um, we have completed some missions today, but we did not complete this one to position a satellite in a polar orbit. I think we'll call the stream finished there, and we will give that one another shot next week uh, on next week's stream uh, because... It's going to take me too long to, to get us back to where we were now um, as, as part of this stream. And we've been streaming for over two hours. So um, thank you for watching, guys. If you're watching this on Twitch and you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit that follow button so that you get notifications next time we go live. If you're watching this on the, uh, the highlights on YouTube, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And... That leaves me with nothing more to say than thank you for watching, guys. I've been El Bristow. This has been El... Uh, this, <laughs> I messed up my closing line. That's not fair. I've been El Bristow. You've been watching Elotopia Gaming. And I will see you next time. See you later, guys.